Welcome to the third video of section one. After the previous video, you might be imagining that training deep neural networks is indeed a really complex task that demands powerful computers and good code. The good thing is, GPUs, even the gaming ones, can be used to train neural networks that are large enough for practical applications. For the good code part of it, there are some really well-written open source libraries that we can use. In this video, we will talk about some of the desired features of a deep learning framework, list a few of the most popular libraries for deep learning, and finally, we will talk about why we are choosing Keras for this course. Okay, so here are the desired features. It is important to ask at least the following questions when choosing a deep learning framework. Does it provide the main architectures, like fully connected, also called multi-layer perceptual networks? Do they have convolutional layers, those that are important for image processing? Do they have recurrent neural networks for sequence processing? Another question is, is it flexible enough for us to develop new types of, of layers, just in case we have to develop something new? And we also have to ask, does it compile to run on GPUs? Because without GPUs, some architectures may be too slow to be practical. So let's check out some of the most popular options that are out there. First, we have here CAFE, which is a popular deep learning framework. And CAFE is widely used in industry and universities alike. It does have a Python API to train deep neural networks with all the main types of layers. The backend is written in C++. So if you are familiar with C++ and Python, I would suggest you to give Cafe a try. There is also Keras, which is a high level deep learning library. It is as flexible and powerful as Cafe but it is totally written in Python. And Keras uses Theano and TensorFlow as backend, which allow us to compile our models to run either on CPUs or GPUs without needing to change anything in the code. In this course, we will focus on using Theano, but we will also mention TensorFlow on the very last video. Those are backend machine learning libraries. They are not aimed only for deep learning. It's important to make this difference. Personally, I tested both Keras and Cafe, and I liked Keras better. So much that now I am a contributor to its source, and I believe you will also like Keras. There are all other popular Python Theano deep learning libraries out there, somewhat similar to Keras in capability, but with a few differences on the API. If you want to try other libraries, just in case you want to test different stuff, I also recommend you to take a look at Lasagna. Lasagna, right? Multi-layers. Yeah, you got it. Okay, and it's also a really interesting library that is widely used. Also, I tried out Blocks, which also uses Theano on the backend. Both are really interesting. I would suggest you to give those libraries a try as well. So great, that ends the video. In this video, we overviewed some of the most popular deep learning frameworks that we can use to train neural networks with a Python API. We chose Keras, which allow us to use Theano or TensorFlow as backend. Another good thing about Keras is that it is simple to use and totally written in Python, as we will see. And in the next video, we will do a deep learning Halo World example.